Welcome back. It's a very special Christmas Eve edition of Liquid Lunch on Biz TV. Uh, on Biz TV, the usual host, John Tobacco, he has uh, quite the array of amazing guests who we hear all points of view on this show. We up at the North Pole tune in every single day. Uh, Mrs. Claus brings me a nice hot toddy, and we sit back and relax and crack open a cold one with Johnny T. He's a real coot. Um... You know, uh, there are a lot of people that are talking right now about uh, whether Mike Pence will step forward and what will happen in Georgia. Uh, and one of the people who is at the forefront of that fight right now is Elaine Parker. She's been a very good girl this year, from what I understand. The Keep America, America Action Fund is uh, what Elaine runs. And uh, you guys, Elaine, are going all through Georgia pointing out the massive contrast between the socialists on the left and the two candidates we need to preserve our majority in the Senate. What's happening on the ground? Yeah, so we've been on a, a bus tour. We've had two buses on the ground uh, in Georgia for the last week or so, um, traveling almost 6,000 miles between both buses um, with a message that we have to keep America, America, and it starts by keeping Georgia, Georgia. Um, and Georgians need to understand that America is on their ballot on January 5th. They've got to get out and vote for um, America's security. It's our personal security because liberals want to defund the police. It's our, it's our economic security um, because they, they're very clear that they want to raise our taxes. And it's our health care security because they want to move us down the road towards a single payer government run health care system. And re-electing Senator Loeffler and Senator Perdue is going to create a firewall to prevent that one-party rule from happening. So it sure does seem crazy what's going on down there in Washington. This Stacey Abrams character is prancing around talking about all the votes she's collected, even though uh, ballot har harvesting is, is illegal in Atlanta. Are there people on the ground that feel like the election's uh, security is going to be better than the November 3rd election? Look, our, my message to uh, the thousands of Georgians that we met along the way, and we were, like I said, 20 plus bus stops. Um, I was traveling with actually uh, former Governor uh, Sonny Perdue, which is who is also um, Senator David Perdue's first cousin. Um, and we just, we had a fantastic time. We met people who were um, small business owners who worked for small business owners in small towns and large towns. Um, and and what my message to them was um, that there's, you've got to let what, whatever you feel about November 3rd and whatever your concerns are, you've got to let that go. You've got to get out and vote. You've got to bring your friends and your family and talk to them about what's on the line and what's at stake because the reality is um, if you don't show up for the game, you forfeit. So we've got to show up and we've got to show up in numbers. And the people that I met with and talked to, they're very motivated and they're very energized um, and they understand what's on the line. And there's going to be a lot of eyes on this election for sure um, to ensure that all of the legal votes are counted and to ensure that um, everybody who wants to vote can vote. Um, but Republicans in Georgia have got to come out. They've got to come out in big numbers um, and they should come out early because anything can happen between now and January 5th. So get out um, and, and bring a couple friends with you. Talk to your friends. Talk to your neighbors. We told them, um, you know, friends don't let friends vote alone. So go together. That was our, our primary message out there. We at the North Pole usually phone a friend when we're going to the polling booth, and I would suggest that for everyone. It's always nicer to do things in pairs, and even more if you can encourage people. On the national level, Mike Pence gave quite the rousing speech at Turning Point USA the other day, and I was stricken while watching it and preparing for Christmas by how he was not talking about how we need to come together to fight against the Democrats. He was talking about how we need to keep the fight alive for the November 3rd election, and the thing that I heard that said Santa loved the most was, he said, the best days of conservatism are ahead of us. And that made me feel very strongly that he was signaling to America that this is just not over yet. What are your thoughts on the national scene? You know, look, it, it, it may or may not be over. My focus um, since November 3rd has been on ensuring that um, Senator Leffler and Senator Perdue are reelected because regardless of what happens and regardless of who's in that White House, and I know that President Trump wants to be back in the White House, 
and stay in the White House. And I know that um, that Republicans want President Trump back there. But whether he's in the White House or Joe Biden, we have to keep the Senate red. It is the only firewall. We will have no success either way. I mean, if it's a President Biden, we need the Senate uh, majority to be in the Republican side so that all Americans' voices are heard um, and we don't let all of these liberal policies uh, come through and, and our taxes get raised on job creators um, and, and single payer system on, on the healthcare side and just all of these liberal policies that, that people like uh, Bernie Sanders and AOC and Chuck Schumer are just dying to put forth on the American people. If it's a President Trump, he needs a red Senate to get something done. So either way, we need to keep these two seats. And that has been my primary focus It is what I'm fighting for. I'm trying to educate Georgians that America is depending on them. I mean, the world is watching that little state of Georgia right now. It's pretty incredible uh, what kind of coverage Georgia is getting right now. And, and the people of Georgia need to understand. And, and I think they do. After talking to all these people, they understand what's at stake and, and what it means. And, and I talk to a lot of people um, on the ground. And even though they're disappointed at the November 3rd election, they absolutely understand why divided government is, is going to be so important forward. Well, um, we herald you for your work in Georgia, and we need people right now that are specifically focused on that. And as you mentioned, uh, if we were to lose both seats and they do somehow take the White House, the country as we know it will be changed forever. And Charles Schumer himself said, we need to win Georgia and then we need to change America. If that's not a rallying call for Georgians to come out and be the true peaches that they are and vote heavy and vote hard, I don't know what is because we all love this great country. Not many more than you, Elaine. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me, and Merry Christmas. You have a very Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, that's Elaine Parker from the Keep America, America Action Fund. I am Santa Claus, filling in for John Tobacco today. That uh, silly old fool had a few too many cocktails last night, so the elves up at the North Pole had to get me down here right away lickety-split. Um, being that uh, Santa is bipolar, you know he's uh, naughty and nice. Uh, he sent me naughty Santa because he knows how John behaves. So for the uh, ending of this segment, let's uh, get it going properly um, with a nice, good, solid Jack Daniels, which we... Uh, serve voluminously at the North Pole. We'll take a quick break. 